Yes, Hunker Munker. I must send Winifred my new stories. I'm sure she'll be curious to know who frightened the cook so. And what you naughty mice were doing upstairs in the nursery. Once upon a time, there was a very beautiful doll's house. It belonged to two dolls called Lucinda and Jane. One morning they went out for a drive in a doll's perambulator. There was no one left in the nursery and all was very quiet. See what we can find. There's no one at home. Let's have a look inside. <laughs> You try some of the fish. Mm. I'll deal with you, 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 you ham. It's no good. You can't eat it. No, it's not for eating. Let's smash it all up. Oh, oh yes, let's. Oh, it's all a trick. It won't break. Let's burn it on the fire. Mm. <laughs> oh. It won't burn. Is there salt up here? While Tom Thumb was up the chimney, Hunker Munker had another disappointment. set to work to do all the mischief they could. Thank <laughs> you. 
What a sight met the eyes of Jane and Lucinda. Nurse, what has happened? Oh, it must be mice. I shall get a doll dressed as a policeman. I will set a mouse trap. And that should keep them out of the doll's house. The bird cage was rescued from behind the coal box, but Hunker Munker had got the cradle and some of Lucinda's clothes. And those two bad mice were not the only ones causing trouble. <laughs> 